Hey, I'm Dr. Hugh. Nice to see you all again. Today's topic is going to be about five tips to choosing the perfect professional monitor. As a professional photographer, there's no doubt that you think highly of color performance on a monitor. And a professional monitor should be able to meet a photographer's needs. So color needs to be accurate and reliable. Now we can be certain that investing in a high quality monitor is definitely a worthy investment because it's a device that you're going to be viewing your work on before it's finished and it helps users accurately choose the color that they imagine. Now that we've determined that a monitor is a worthy investment, I'm going to give you five tips on how to select the perfect professional monitor. And those are color gamut, gamma curve, color accuracy, uniformity, and calibration. Now I'm going to go through each of these points one by one. Now the first thing you're going to need to consider is color gamut coverage. Now color gamut coverage refers to the range of color that's covered under the entire spectrum of color that's visible by the human eyes. There are a range of different color gamuts such as sRGB, Adobe RGB, EBU, Rec. 709, and so on. Now in general you may think that you need a really wide array of color gamut coverage, but in reality that's not the case. You have to think about what type of color space you're going to be working in the most. Nowadays it's safe to say that a majority of us work primarily in the sRGB color space a majority of the time. So if you're somebody that's putting most of your work online and you're not really printing anything out, then a monitor with high sRGB coverage is going to be your needs. Now, if you're printing things out, uh, then you're going to want to prioritize Adobe RGB on your monitor. If you want to know more about the different color spaces, then leave us a message down below and maybe we can talk about it in a future episode. Now the next point you need to consider is the gamma curve offered by your monitor. Now the gamma curve controls the image's brightness and smooths out the color transition between colors. Gamma 2.2 is indispensable and it's been the standard used by Windows and Apple for years. Gamma 2.2 colors are near optimal and provide a nice balance that's close to true color. It's also the standard used by video and graphic professionals. Ideally, a monitor will have multiple gamma settings to choose from, such as gamma 1.8, gamma 2.0, gamma 2.4, and gamma 2.6. These can help with general viewing, so if an image is too bright, you're going to need a higher gamma setting. But if an image is too dark, you might need a lower gamma setting. Now these can help users just switch between settings very quickly and easily to find the ideal settings for any given situation. Let's imagine this scenario. A professional filmmaker is producing a video in Gamma 2.2. He's not finished his job and he wants to enjoy a movie, but the movie has a lot of dark colors in it. Now he can easily switch to a lower gamma to improve his viewing experience. Now the next point we're going to talk about is color accuracy, also known as delta E. Now delta E is the standard metric used to measure the correlation between two perceived colors. With a lower delta E value, professionals are able to get more accurate and consistent color. With the lower delta E value, the images that you put onto your monitor from your camera are displayed more accurately on the monitor without any color distortion. Now this is incredibly important for professionals that want that exact color replication. So this delta E score is very important when you're selecting a monitor and generally a delta E value less than 2 is your best bet. Monitor panels are constructed in a complex layering process which can result in inconsistencies in the luminance output and color uniformity. As you can see in these two pictures, the non-uniformity of luminance and color chromaticity have a direct impact on the monitor's gamma and grayscale. So, to achieve uniformity, Fusonic VP series monitors are equipped with a uniformity correction function which corrects any imbalances in luminance and color. Do you see this? This is a calibrator. This one is for calibrating your monitor, and that's because calibration support is extremely important. Now your monitor is going to be your strongest ally during the editing process, and if the color on it is not calibrated, then, you guessed it, inconsistencies will arise. Now the luminance and color output on your monitor will change naturally over time for a variety of reasons and to com combat that 
you need some kind of calibration. Now there are two methods of calibration. There's software calibration and hardware calibration. And for both of those, you're gonna need some sort of calibration kit. When selecting a professional monitor, I suggest that you find something with hardware calibration, such as the ViewSonic VP series. Since hardware calibration controls the monitor directly, it has good gradation characteristics and high precision. A notable benefit of hardware calibration is that it aligns the output of the graphics card with the monitor scaler so that you have long-term consistency and color accuracy. For those working with high-quality imagery or within a professional design environment, hardware calibration is an excellent resource for ensuring a more efficient workflow and a more consistent quality of work. And those were Dr. Hughes' five tips for helping you guys select the perfect professional monitor. Now, although we didn't mention them here, you're also going to want to find a resolution and size that fits your needs. And if the monitor has an IPS panel, that's going to be even better because it gives you that extra viewing angle when you're looking at your images. So an IPS panel will give you that 178 degree viewing angle. All right, and now we've reached the end of the session. I hope by now you guys have a better idea of how to pick the perfect professional monitor. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up button. And if you want any more information, you can visit color.viewsonic.com. See you next time. I'm Dr. Hugh.